Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Cancer and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your September 2024 tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Cancer. Let's see what we have for you for the month of September. We're going to pull an overarching energy, look at some general energies too, and then look specifically at love, romance, relationship areas, money, career, finances, and any other thread that comes out for you. Your overarching energy, water energy, which is nice, the Knight of Cups. With that, we've got another Knight, the Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, which is the card of Cancer for me in the Minor Arcana, male or female, this is you, in touch with your emotions and feelings, intuitive, self-love. Ten of Wands. Knight of Wands. Let's see what we have for you in terms of love, romance, relationship areas. What do we have for Cancer? change huge change this month in a really positive way love romance relationships can be general relationships as well thank you knight of cups again six of swords <clears throat> Let's do money, career, financial areas. What do we have for cancer? Thank you. King of Wands. Knight of Wands again. Repeating cards here. So many knights. So many knights. Um, yeah, it's interesting. You've got all the knights apart from the Knight of uh, Clarity, you know, which is the Knight of Swords. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Cancer? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. As soon as I saw the Knight of Cups and then it, you know, it came out again. I mean, that's the energy. Big, happy changes. Let's see what we have for you as an Angel Romance card. What do we have for Cancer? Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. You know, I'm wondering whether there are more than, there's more than one person here as well, but we will see. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I think that there is more than one person here that you're dealing with. Let's see what we have in terms of money areas. I mean, certainly on the romantic front, it feels like interested party or parties 
Block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and your working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. Yeah. Isn't it, you know, interesting, you know, when we go through choppy waters and difficult times, we kind of realize those people who are there for us. Certainly on the money career front, that's what I'm seeing for you. The people who offer support, whether it's emotional or financial, you know, and help us through good times and bad, you know, and I'm I'm reading this across the board, which is pretty much the way that the readings are going this month. Um, but so many repeating cards, I just feel it's all connected, you know, because I, there's definitely a feeling here that somebody has supporting you through maybe a difficult time. Now, that could be a health issue. It could also be difficult time in money career finances, whether it's the current place of work or whether it's getting back to employment, the same energy applies. You've been you've been on some kind of journey. You have been, you know, going on some kind of uh trying to find the right direction forward, I want to say. That kind of journey, but trying to find that kind of clear way forward. And it's almost like, you know, this month things change in a way where you feel that things are coming back on an even keel. You feel that you're heading in the right direction. And I feel someone is supporting you through that. Now, yes, this can be vice versa. You could be supporting somebody else as well. But we do actually realize who's important to us when we go through those choppy waters and we come through the other side of that situation here. We move towards the karma shores. As we're going through that kind of process and transition, we really get deep insights and learnings in terms of what's important to us, what matters, you know, deep transformational energies as well within ourselves. And even that kind of like deep perspectives in terms of what really matters and what's important to us. Certainly when we have kind of like people who support us through good times and bad. Again, you could be doing that for somebody as well. It can also be somebody supporting you through a healing process as well. This is what I see for you here, Cancer. Because as you're going through that, that change is happening. I, I'm telling you, I mean, really September is, is big change, but it's all good. I think it's all good for you. Because the energies of the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands can be a natural leader in business, somebody who is go-getting, driven, action orientated inspiring to be around, um, very confident. I mean, the downside of a King of Wands can sometimes be ego. Uh, but in business, they're very good at what they do. So sometimes can have be allowed to have a little bit of an ego as long as it's kept in check. So this is somebody who is very kind of like um, visionary, pioneering, go-getting. Doesn't really matter whether they're, uh, they're sphere involved here in terms of moving forward. They'll just do it anyway and walk through those spheres. So somebody very charismatic you might be connecting to, male or female with the King of Wands, could be in business. Because when we talk about the Knight of Wands, this is something coming in fast. Something coming in fast, which is bringing you back to yourself here. Certainly in terms of uh, feeling that sense of emotional balance and stability. And you just know, you just know. I think that you've had to be strong through this as well. There's a, a sense of really digging deep with this kind of energy, you know probably discovered your own strength as well you know but um there is that feeling here that this person is certainly going to bring in change for you the knight of pentacles and the ten of wands is a weight is lifted when this comes in it's going to be fast you know um and it brings that sense of you're moving in the right direction now. This is looking good. You know, I feel the conversations that I'm having. It's like this catalyst for change that's happening, that's setting that boat on course in the right direction towards karma times, you know, and it's heading here. I mean, the 10 of ones is letting go of a weight, a burden that is built up over time. Now, that could be for a number of things. You know, 10 of ones can be, you might have been trying to get back into employment, 
you know, and it's been, you know, it's been difficult, it's been a burden. Ten of Wands can be uh, an experience in your current place of work where it became too much, you know, and you just want to let go of it and move somewhere else. It can also be things like traveling. I can't do the journey anymore. I can't travel like this anymore, like I used to. It's become too much of a thing. Didn't start out that way, but it's become too much now. It can also be the long working hours or the hours that are just not working for you anymore, you know. So this is what's at play here. I think that there is a job, a business opportunity, a new contract um, that's being offered to you here that lets you lighten the load. And that's why I feel this kind of big, happy change for you, because I feel that that's what these energies are, are supporting in you as energy. If these nights are all kind of like energy, it's supporting you on a path of bringing exciting change, uh, you know, and really kind of moving into a direction of that sense of new stability. And that's what I see for you here. Even when I look at separation and attraction, I think that you're separating from something, detaching from something that you want to let go of. An experience, a burden that's become too much of, you want to break free of it. You want to cut the cords with it. And you have an opportunity to in September. This is about moving from what was to what will be, moving from A to B, you know, moving from the choppy waters to the calm shores, however that would manifest for you. Now, the additional message with the Six of Swords, and I do want to touch on Cancer as well, um, it can be about travel as well. So travel might play a part in September for you. Uh, this can be about going somewhere. Yes, it can be to do with holidays or there might well be a reason to to travel. Could be to support somebody or someone coming and traveling to see you, you know. Just thought I would mention that because it was coming through really loud and clear. So that's what I have for you in terms of money, career, finances. In terms of love romance relationships again these are very supportive energies that kind of bring support you on this period of change that's really what i'm seeing for you here cancer there can be if you are separated there could be multiple people that you're dealing with here in the sense that i feel you're letting go of someone because you want something more solid and you know this Knight of Wands, which would likely be linked with this King of Wands energy, they might not be as committed as you want them to be. But you might have an opportunity for love. And you might be taking it with, grabbing it with both hands. This is the energy here, because sometimes the, I think that this, there is separating from something, but attracting something else. And also you're attracted to something else, but that means letting go of something else, you know? So this is what I see for you. You can see that on money, career finances as well, but the same energies apply. I feel that you have been dealing with somebody. I mean, yes, the Knight of Wands coming out twice is, is really, it can be a player. Somebody messes you around. Somebody is not committed. Somebody who it might be it might be an on again off again relationship and this person just expects it to be that way on again you know um whereas i think that you're making some kind of you're taking control of your heart this month and self love first and foremost with the queen of cups because she doesn't open her heart to anybody anymore and i definitely see this kind of the closed cup you know with the knight of wands here <clears throat> And certainly the opportunity for the open cup with this kind of other potential night energy. So I, I feel that there is something that you're closing off to, that you're not open to anymore, but you are open to someone else. It's like this kind of transition where you realize what you need to let go of because you want to see or you see potential with somebody and... Um, that promises that sense of stability and security that the other person won't. This is what I see for you. And I think that you're grabbing it with both hands. I mean, that's what I see here. Again, separation in one area, but attraction in another is what I see for you here. And that's what I have for you, Cancer. I mean, I love the energies of big, happy changes. 
Let's see what we have as a destiny card for you. What do we have for Cancer? <clears throat> Bear with me, my throat's going a little bit. What do we have for Cancer for September? Angel Spirits Guides. Destiny card. Love that. Leadership. Yeah, and I've got release. I think that you're taking the lead in your own life. And that means releasing something that no longer serves you as well. So I'm going to read leadership. We have the North Star in the picture. Just as the North Star is a beacon for travellers in the dark of the night, you are a beacon for others. It's time to step into the light and take your leadership role. You are a teacher, steward, guardian and healer, a true leader. Own these gifts. Come into the light. Don't hold back. Let the world see your light. The greatest leaders are those who know how to serve and act as stepping stones for others to reach their dreams. If you have been hiding in the background, it's time to break out and become the light for others. Through this, your star shines brighter. Could also be that, you know, this can also be to do with things like leadership positions too, or deciding to take the lead in your own life. Like I said, there is something to do with release as part of that process. I'm going to read out release. The picture shows the autumn light. When you receive this card, it is time to let go and surrender. Let go of situations, people and objects that do not serve you. Let go of old, outmoded, self-limiting beliefs that drag you down. This is a time of stripping away superficial distractions until you reach who you are at your core. If you are holding on to the old, it is difficult for anything new to come into your life. Begin to clear your home and living environments of clutter. If you don't love it or use it, it is probably clutter. Clear it out of your space. It's time for a detox. To get ready for the new, you must release the old. All right, Cancer, let's see what we have for you. Let's pull you a message from heaven to finish off the reading, whatever heaven means to you. So we have listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you. Use your intuition, number 21. Cancer, that's what I have for you for the month of September 2024. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.